Hey Divas, what's up? It's your girl Diva and welcome back to Diva's house. It's time for Diary of a Home Mom. That's right, it's the first one for 2016. So if you want to hear what's going on here at Diva's house, stay tuned. No, I'm not drinking alcohol. It's a little bit of Pepsi. Um, but sometimes, you know, as moms, a glass of wine is always good. Or, well, a glass or two or three is always good just because with the kids. But it is just Pepsi. So, let's talk about baby girl going back to daycare. So, yesterday, which was Tuesday, was the first day I took her back to daycare. She hadn't gone in about maybe two and a half weeks because her dad was off pretty much a lot for the month of December due to time that he had to use up. You know, like personal time and stuff like that that he had to lose use for work. Otherwise, he would have lost it because he couldn't carry it over into the new year. So, he was home with her a lot. And then the days that he did have to go to work... I was off so she really didn't have to go to daycare so I dropped her off and she seemed like she was good like you know she was gonna go play and then the owner was like well are you gonna say bye to mommy yeah she came to say goodbye to me and she was trying to leave with me and she started crying so you know I felt bad cuz I'm like here it is I have to go to work but you seem good for all of the one or two minutes. You was ready to go play. Soon she says, you're going to go say bye to mommy. She started to cry. So I'm quite sure after that she's calmed down. She had a good day. And she is going today because I do have to be in that work at 2 o'clock. So I figured I'd kind of get this out the way and then whatever. Upload it so you guys can see and everything. But it's the nature of the business. So now, here's my big dilemma, guys, because I don't want to give up this job at all. And I wouldn't be giving it up because every time I drop her off, she cries at daycare. My dilemma is I work part-time at the store. So I'm not seasonal. I'm part-time, so I know I'm guaranteed hours. But I work about four hours a day, maybe four to five days a week. The money I make after taxes is pretty decent, but it's with, it's great if I don't have to pay daycare. For the three days or so that she does go to daycare, I'm paying about, if I do her as a drop-in, I'm paying about $120 a week. If I sign the contract for her to go, guaranteed three days a week, it's $105. So I'd be saving $15, but at the same token, my check that I get every two weeks only is enough to pay for daycare and maybe a few items here and there with what's left over for work. So my goals of saving some money kind of goes out the window because I'm really just paying her daycare. I'm trying to pay the little bit of credit cards that I do have, you know, pay them because I did use them when we went on vacation. Um, pay those so that I, I stay current. And then I'm left with really nothing for myself. So all the little plans that I have for my birthday have are flying out the window. So my dilemma is do I really keep this job because I'm really just paying for her to go to daycare? Now I thought about my husband was like, why are you still doing this if you, your paycheck is just enough to pay for daycare? You don't really have any money left over to help too much around the house in terms of the bills and then you really don't have too much money left over for yourself so what are you really working for? You're really working just to pay for her to day for daycare? And it kind of bothered me when he said it because I'm like well what do you not what do you want me to do? Not work? Because I'm in the house what am I doing? I have no extra money for myself. I have no money to go anywhere. If we go anything I'm using go anywhere I'm using my credit cards but then I have to worry about I have to pay those bills later on which is what happened for the most part while I was home there was no extra money for me to go and do things so then if I saw something I would want I would have to charge it. So I am actively though still looking for a full-time job 
But here's the other flip side to a full-time job. Anything that I find full-time seems to be outside of my area, which is about maybe 30, 45 minutes away. At least the one or two calls that I did get before I went on vacation was for jobs about 45 minutes away from me, which means in order for me to beat morning traffic, I would have to leave about the same time as my husband. The ladies' daycare doesn't open until 7. My husband leaves to work at 6. Just because Atlanta traffic during the week, Monday through Friday, is horrible. If I get off of work at 5, that gives me an hour to get home because her hours end at 6. And then I have a 15-minute window where I'm not paying the extra, but if I come after 6.15, I'm paying $5 extra for every whatever that I'm late. So, afternoon traffic, just so you guys know if you're not from the Atlanta area, is just as bad as morning traffic, if not worse. So, I'm at a crossroads. Like, do I find a full-time job? Do I not keep this part-time job and just stay home with her and then wait to find a full-time job so that I can really just afford to pay daycare and have money for other things other than just having a couple of dollars left here and there versus I'm spending $210 or $240 every two weeks and that is my pay... That's the majority of my paycheck and I have no money left over. So that's my big dilemma. That's what I'm fussing with because I'm still trying to find a full-time job, but I'm trying to find something close by. I'm thinking about doing full-time retail again, but then that kind of doesn't leave either of us open in terms of her having one of her parents all the time because then that means I'd be working pretty much my hours like my husband um, where it's like I'm working you know I had two days off during the week but the weekends I have to work because it's retail then you know the availability is like if he he definitely can't be the one to pick her up so if I have to work late that means I'm not picking her up a family member can pick her up but you know, people have their lives, they're going to want to do things, they're going to not, they may not be able to always be able to help. So that's the part that really scares me about trying to go back to do a full-time retail job. And I kind of didn't want to do that because the benefits with some of these retail jobs are not really there in terms of what I'm looking for. I'm looking to get a job where I can get into a 401k and start planning towards my retirement. I really don't need medical and health benefits because my husband has us covered through his job. So, let me know what you guys think. Some of you moms who are either getting ready to go back to work, you've gone back to work. How have you dealt with that? Keep in mind, we live here in Atlanta. We have two family members here on his, my husband's side. I have friends here from college, but they all work. All of our family and friends are really back in New York. So let me know what you guys think. Give me some feedback. Kind of bounce some ideas off of me. Let me know. Now the option of working from home does not work because that means she's still home with me. And my daughter is very much attached to me because for that first year, we had that very tight bond where I was home with her. And even if her father is home, she's still very much attached to me. So from working from home is not a great idea because I would still have to send her to daycare for those hours that I need to work in home. There's not a quiet area in my house. So if any of you suggest that, Trust me, it's not going to work. I've even talked about that with friends. I know my daughter too well. She's very much attached and she wants to be on me. There's, It's never going to be quiet. It's not going to seem like an office-like environment. Right now, it's great if she's at daycare and I'm home for a little while while she's still at daycare before or after I have to go to work or after I come home from work because I could do things like talk to you guys and then go pick her up. So, yeah. Fabulous Divas, that's all I have for you guys this week of Diary of At Home Mom. I want to do a question and answer session with you guys. So definitely post any questions that you might have for me, just about me in general, things as a mom, um, anything you want to know about Diva, leave them down below. I will post my links to my Snapchat and my Periscope. Go over there and follow me, especially on Snapchat.
Snapchat. My Snapchat name is Divas House. You guys can go over there and leave me questions on my Snapchat also. But I really look forward to hearing from you guys because I definitely want to do a question and answer session with you guys. So any questions, like I said, if, that you have for Diva, leave them down below or go follow me over on Snapchat and Periscope. In the meantime, my fabulous Divas, y'all know what to do. Y'all stay fast because you know you girl is too. I'll see you guys.